Hello, this is Prelove and I wanted to end this uh, segment on the um, national, International Fragrance Day, or I don't know, I really just heard about it today. But with a fragrance that is marketed towards women, because I, I do a lot of uh, the men's fragrances, um, it just appeals to me more most of the time. Um, the marketing maybe has an effect on on my subconscious that I am not aware of because I really associate with uh, being a man. But still, I have, like, in my collection, I still have some uh, women's fragrances and some, like, fragrances, like, marketed towards women that I just adore. Um, in fact, my favorite one, maybe I would end with that video. Yeah, I would, I will, I promise that I will show my favorite fragrance of all time afterwards. And it is marketed towards women. Anyway, this this one, and it's actually not a good review, so <laughs> I'm, yeah, I, I'm gonna do another video after that just to have a real nice closure. And it's not a good review because I have tried it several times. This one, um, it is like the the opening is amazing, like amazing. Not too sweet, but still very sweet. Acidic, citrusy, floral, white floral, woodsy, everything. Everything's there and it's incredible. In the beginning, it really rapidly dries down and becomes that woodsy, white floral scent that you, you smell all the time. And that is really sad with white florals is that um, they are probably one of my favorite, easily one of my favorite uh, scent type, but most of them evolve into a dry down that smell like um, dry wood and earth, and it's like, and they all dry down the same way with that very little synthetic white floral i don't even know the flower like kind of note in the end and it's just that that stays and it it kind of feels like a like a, you know a, a bird that has lost its feathers you know <laughs> it's just like it it and this one this one is like yes it's so gorgeous in the beginning uh but fades to be like so drab i was very uh, i was very disappointed because in the like in my first impression of this i was like i'm gonna wear that because it's so good uh i'm probably gonna like try it again and again and see if there's something that i didn't understand or uh what my like what my tip would be is to reapply when the dry down happens because anyway the dry down is really like a skin scent uh, so just just reapply throughout the day uh, keep like a, this one is, a, is one of the little bottles that they give like um, but anyway keep keep some on you and just you know put some back throughout the day and um, it will keep that amazing scent for all the day but like it will use a lot of uh, of the, the bottle uh, every time and you will end up smelling very very strong of that weird dry down it's not weird it's just that every like every commercial white floral ends up being like that um not the men's though like i don't know why but the marketed towards men white floral actually stay really good like uh, l'odyssey by isimiyaki that's why sometimes i like really like Sometimes to women who want a white floral scent, lily of the valley, lotus flower, jasmine kind of scent, I sometimes tell them, well, try l'odyssey. It ends up like the dry down is spicy woodsy, but it's very different and it's very nice. And it fits on everyone and it has that, that honeydew kind of very nice vibe. Like don't go for like a, these ones that smell amazing at first but really amazing but afterwards it's it just loses all its feathers and it's not that good anymore it's not the scent you paid for 
if you try it like and you walk for 30 minutes you'll be like this is amazing but if you walk for two hours three hours then you'll you'll end up noticing that it's it has turned into a yeah end of twigs bushes and dirt you know it's not very not very interesting and few flowers here and there but it's nothing good anymore uh so yes mostly and i i like i sometimes recommend to uh, women to go for lacoste blanc for men this is also a great white floral that but i found like toca florence excellent white floral that doesn't dry down like in that kind of fashion it does have a like you know twig-ish vibe but it's like the flowers are still there and it's very nice and it's still woodsy but that one i i mean and you smell it oh my you you smell that you're like you want to buy the bottle you know it's so good but then you regret it because uh, the performance isn't good uh, and it's weird because it like it was a gift that they gave like um, it was this one that's toy two and toy boy and toy boy stays really well it's a rose scent that is very very nice uh, I don't know so it's not a good it's not a good buy I like right now what I see is it's not a good buy for anyone um, go for a better white floral if you want that kissing burns 2.4 calories per minute super like sweet white floral go for the men's one Lodice by Isimiyaki for men uh, I don't know about Lodice for women so I cannot like mention anything about that uh, go for Lacoste Blanc uh, go for there's there's like a lot of very good white florals out there yeah toca florence incredible white floral uh, go for muguet millisim if you've got money to spend <laughs> it's the lily of the valley scent that is amazing um there's tons of them out there like go and look it up but don't go for like try before try before you buy try always anyway all right so spread love, spread love, bye bye.